Hello and welcome to Architeasy. I'm pretty sure that you were facing the similar situation, the similar problem in Revit, and that's how to have the different values on your dimensions and on your levels in your Revit projects. And as you can see, the units for my project are in millimeters, and the units of my dimension style are using the project settings. So how is then possible to have the levels which are showing the values in meters? And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. And just before I move to the topic, I would like to invite you to join our community of architects and interior designers, where we are going to host a free Revit workshop from March 7 till, till March 28. It's completely free to join us, you just need to sign up and you will find the link in a video description. I'm in Revit right now, so as you can see, my units in level are in millimeters. And if we select level, and if I go to edit type, you will see that there is nothing we can do about the units here, but there is one thing we need to be aware of, and that's the symbol. So it's this M level head circle. So you can just go here and you can type level circle, or you can simply expand families, annotation symbols, and then look here for M level head circle, right click, and then go to edit. Now, when I'm in a family, I will simply click on the elevation because that's something I would like to adjust and we'll go to edit level. And then I will click on elevation so this icon will be possible to select. And then here you can see that I can simply untick use project settings and then I can change the units to meters, for example. And I can also take the rounding. So I will go to the two decimal places, hit OK, OK. You can, of course, if you want, save as the family. I will, in this case, just go load into the project. I'm going to override it. And my units are now in meters, while you see that my plan and the dimensions on the plan remain to be in millimeters. That's quite simple to be fixed. And I really hope that you are going to find this one useful. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you found it useful. And if you would like to level up your Revit knowledge, just join our community of architects and interior designers. It's completely free and the link is in a video description.